everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here and like the content please don't forget to subscribe today's video is all about wide leg jeans now back in the day i was so scared of wearing a wide leg jean because i thought it makes me look shorter than i actually am but then i saw some petite girls out there wearing them and completely slaying it so it gave me motivation to buy one so i did and i did a little research of my own on how to style them so that it makes you look taller and slimmer so this video is all about that now let's talk about basics first number one i want you to think about wide leg jeans in terms of fabric now if you think about it and you go down your legs it keeps on increasing and there is a bulk of fabric near your feet so this is something that you should always keep in mind because there is so much fabric down there that you need to define your waistline more and by defining i mean either wear a crop top or if you have some t-shirt or shirt then try to tuck them in in such a way that uh, your waist is more defined and it gives you an illusion that you are taller and slimmer and this is the basic concept behind all the outfits that i have shown in this video point number two if this is your first time buying a wide leg jean then please 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 stay away from bright unconventional colors like neon yellow or orange magenta just keep them aside for future purchase first purchase should always be a neutral color i want you to build your capsule wardrobe first and then try to add some colors in it because then you will have so many ideas and so many outfits that you can put together and you will love me and you will come back and subscribe to my channel so yeah so yeah now that we have talked about the basics let me show you some very simple outfit ideas I will start with casual and slowly work my way to more dressed up and formal looks. To style a t-shirt with wide leg jeans is pretty easy. I would say just go with an oversized t-shirt because this will give you a balanced look. But make sure that you are not dividing your body into two halves. For this, I either tuck my t-shirt only on one side which will reveal my high rise waist and give my body some shape at the same time or I tie a knot in the front and give it a cropped t-shirt look. With this, you will achieve the ratios of one-thirds and two-thirds which will enhance your height and make you look slipper. For a casual look like this, I try to complete the outfit with sneakers or sport shoes. I think this is the easiest and the fastest way to style a wide leg denim. For the next look, I decided to go for a simple white shirt. If you have watched any of my previous videos, you know how much I love a neutral linen shirt. Now again, to bring some attention to my waist, I will tuck one side of this shirt just like we did with the t-shirt in look number 1. And because the look is so simple and neutral, I would suggest wearing a statement piece like a bright colored heel or bag. I think red goes really well with white and blue. Also, if you want, you can tuck your whole shirt inside the jeans for a more formal look this outfit is so effortless and chic and also perfect for summers for this look i'm still using the same concept of a shirt with wide leg jeans but this time using a very flowy satiny shirt i wanted to go for a monochromatic look to show how it can create an illusion of a taller silhouette going monochromatic is always a safe bet for any body shape as this will not focus on a particular part of your body but it brings the eye to the whole outfit so next time you are confused just go for a monochromatic look to enhance the outfit. Another technique that you can use to style a wide leg jeans is to wear a peplum top or something with flares. For example, this top has flared sleeves which then takes your eyes away from your height. Also an added benefit is the v-neck which gives some breathing room to your upper body. I'd suggest you add some accessories like a minimalistic necklace to complete the look. This look is one of my favorite because of two reasons. Number one, I love the ditzy print and how well it fits me. And number two, it has a very unique design and all the plus points which actually complements my body shape. Number 
One look that I also wanted to cover in this video was to use off-shoulder tops with wide leg jeans. I think they really complement each other and it's pretty much the same concept that I explained for v-neck in the previous look. More breathing room around the neck makes you look slimmer and taller and the big sleeves also will balance out the fabric at the bottom of the jeans. So this is look number 5. For the last look, I have two options, one casual and one formal. The casual outfit has a simple black crop top that is so easy to put together. On the other hand, I just added a blazer for a formal look. Again, very neutral colors because I can style them with so many pieces in my wardrobe. And also to highlight the outfit, I have added my red heels as a statement piece. For the look with the blazer, you can also tuck in your crop top under your bra to make it look like it's a semi-formal outfit. Just play around, I think there can be so many ways and combinations in terms of colors and style that you can use to recreate this look. I really hope that this video was helpful and if you decide to use any of these outfit ideas, don't forget to send me a picture on my Instagram. I will leave the link in the description box down below and uh, also don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!